For me, keyword research has always been the most challenging part of content creation because you can either use a tool like Ahrefs, but everyone is doing that, or you can go to Google and spend hours trying to find the low competition keywords. I found a little gem I want to share with you when SEO expert does the keyword research for you and then share a library of low competition keywords in your niche. The tool is Rank IQ. When I first tested out Rank IQ, I wasn't impressed by the design, but I was super excited to try out the keyword library. The keyword library is a manually crafted library of keywords that the team behind Rank IQ has found. So that means that they have manually crafted a keyword research and found those low competition, long tail keywords and questions that you can then write articles for. Normally we would use a tool that would automatically find keywords for us and then based on some different factors, try and estimate the search volume, how competitive the keyword is and some more factors we can use. But by using this manual method, we get much more value of course, the more users they get, the more average the value will become, but they continue to add more keywords to the library to maintain the value because these keywords are manually found and they're not found by some robot that are trying to find the best keywords for you and shown to thousands and thousands of users. First off, using the keyword library, it was super easy. I found my niche and then I clicked on it in the dropdown and then I got a bunch of different keywords. And here I got a lot of good keywords I could just take and start writing articles for. And I really like how you get competition for each keyword and you get how long does it take to rank for this keyword. So when I decide what keyword I want to go for, I can filter and I can sort by these many parameters and they're found manually and calculated manually. Now, another thing I really like is the time to rank. Here it is a combination of the competition score and the time to rank that you can use when you decide what article to write first. And within time to rank, they have four different categories that they separate the articles to, into. You have average, which is anywhere from three to six months of time where it takes to rank. Then you have ultra fast, where it takes somewhere from 30 to 60 days. You have fast that takes somewhere around 60 to 180 days. And then you have very fast that takes around 60 days. But what's important to remember here is that there are a lot of factors playing a role here, such as your domain authority, your topical authority as well. How good are you at covering the topic that you're writing about from all angles? So the better you are at these elements and the higher your domain rating is, the faster you will automatically rank for all of these specific keywords. So far, I've written three articles based on long tail keywords I found using Rank IQ. I did this more or less two weeks ago, so they're still not ranking, but they should rank within 30 to 60 days. So if you want to follow along on that journey, then go over to my Twitter and follow me over there. I'll share the progress and I'll share how long it actually took to rank for those articles, which is super interesting to see. And another neat little feature I found within Rank IQ that I really liked was if you can't find your niche, then you can also just search broad in all the niches for your keyword. Because sometimes your keyword is in a niche that you just didn't think about that they would call it that, or they simply just named it in a different way. But another nice little add-on here is that you can also write to them. So if you simply can't find your niche, then you can reach out to them and then they will cover your entire niche and they will cover one niche per month per user. So just be aware of this but I reached out to them and I asked for them to cover the Webflow niche, for instance, and all they're asking in return is that you give them some keywords and some guidance on where to go so they know what types of questions and long tail keywords to look for. And then you get an entire library of keywords that are ready for you to write articles for so you can rank for them. I just really like this. This is super cool because we get the more manual method as mentioned, we don't get the automatic method and it's a complete new way of doing keyword research. And from the keyword library, you can go into two directions. Either you can start building up your own keyword library with your own keywords. And I did this to begin with. I tried to build out a specific topic based on keywords in the rank IQ library. And it works, there's no doubt about that. But what I didn't like is that you can't build silos 
and today where topical authority is just so important to build silos so we can cover the topic from all angles i just need this feature i really need to see that feature within rank iq right now it's not there another thing within the library of your own keywords is that you can add your own domain and when you do that then rank iq will show your domain rating which is super useful but you can only add one domain and when you're working with a tool like rank iq you often have multiple domains that you're working with so here i would really like to just overall in the platform be able to add multiple domains so i don't have to delete and write my new domain every single time and also with the keyword library i can't take the different keywords and attach them to a domain i just have a long pile of keywords that are very good to use but it's just a complete mess because i can't categorize them in any way except based on the niche now the other route you can do when you have found a keyword you want to write about is that you can run a report when you run a report rank iq conducts an entire research on that specific keyword where they go to google and they find top 10 that are ranking on that keyword already they find related keywords and terms that you need to use just like we have seen with phrase scale not and even surfer seo as soon as you have read all of your research through and you're ready to write you can also do this within rank iq but here is the thing you need to change between two tabs when you want to see your research and when you want to write the only research you have while writing are all of your keywords and then you can see how many times you've used the keywords but rank iq are not telling you what and how many times you need to use the keywords they're only telling you that you're using them they're telling you the word count you need to aim for and then you get a grade and while these things are great i just want to see a more elaborate version of this i wanted to show me how many headings should i use how many images how many times should i use each of the individual terms and keywords and which of the keywords are most important to use i need more guidance when i'm writing and we see that with phrase and surfer seo it's much easier to create an article that will rank on google because we get the guidance we don't get that here this module i didn't use that much of course you can use it for your content optimization but the functionality was simply just too basic and then the editor i wasn't a big fan of it it didn't suggest me any terms to use while writing and it quickly became very messy when you wrote a lot of text even though you were using short paragraphs and indents it was just not very well written so here they need to elaborate and completely reinvent this the last module they have is an seo audit and this is where you can connect your google search console and then you can get some data about your google search console account here i connected mine and one thing that i found was that every single time i visited this module i had to connect my google search account again just a small thing but that becomes a little bit tedious once you use it a lot of times once i connected my google search account i could then choose the website that i wanted to see data for and to be honest there wasn't a lot of value in this module the only thing that i took from it was content dk so it was showing me where it compared each of my content pieces on two periods to tell me that some of these articles are starting to lose traffic they're starting to decay so you want, might want to optimize them so they can get back up in the serve and get more traffic again that was the only thing because all of the other data and including the content dk you can easily find in google search console so i just didn't use this as much either i just did use the keyword library and that's really where there is a lot of value within rank iq but that pretty much sums up rank iq all of the value are within the keyword library but it is also so unique that i would easily pay 49 us dollars just to get the library and what's interesting is that their entire pricing plan is based on reports so the more reports that you run the more credits you need and the higher plan you need but a report is only when you want to write an article in the content optimization if you just want to use the keyword library you can just go with their lowest plan at 49 us dollars and then you have access to the entire keyword library that they continue to update they continue to add new niche and you can also ask them to either update your niche or add a new niche that you can't find in there so if you're looking for a new way of doing your keyword research then a tool like rank iq is definitely something you need to take a look at 
because you get this entire keyword library and there are so many niches in there. And as mentioned, if your niche is not there, then simply ask them to add it. And this keyword library is so unique that you don't find it in Ahrefs or SEMrush. There might be some keywords overlap, but it is super unique. And that's really what makes this product so exciting. Overall, I want to give Rank IQ three and a half stars. If I was Rank IQ, I would simply just get rid of the module surrounding keyword library and then just focus solely on the keyword library because there is so much value in there. But if you want to see my review of Surfer SEO and how you can optimize your content to rank better on Google, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.